this a game that you pointed to back in June, July, August that you thought, or did you know they were going to be this good? And are you just as excited about it as maybe you were? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily pointing back June and July, August. Like, like I said, um, from the start, we just took it game by game. But, you know, um, one verse two, I mean, I mean, that, this is what we, you know, come here come here for. You know, games like this, um, you know, it, it's the top two teams in the Big Ten, and, and you know, we're looking forward to a, to a dogfight. Jay Sean, in, in your career, you um, have actually scored at a pretty high rate against Purdue. I think you're averaging like 16 or 17 points per game. Is there anything you like about this matchup, anything that, that maybe suits your game a little more? So why do you think you've been able to have some success against this team? Um, I just think the – it's always just been a competitive game facing them um, from day one. Um, and, you know, just the opportunity to uh, go up there and play in that atmosphere in that crowd. Um, I've never won there. Um, it's very loud. Um, they have a good student section. And I, I just, being a competitor, like I love that edge. I love being a part of that. And I think it, it kind of like ups my game. This is a big measure, another big, another big measuring stick game. You've had, you guys have had some. How much better, you, you see it every day, how much better is this team or you guys than you were at North Carolina, Gonzaga, Clemson? Where are you this much better? Where are you guys in terms of improvement from then? And how does not having Cam, does that bring it back down a little bit? Where, how does adding that into the mix factor in? I think we're definitely a better team. Those games you're talking about were weeks and months ago now. So, obviously, you've grown as a team since then. You're on cams out. But we made the adjustment in the Illinois game, and we'll make the adjustment for this game, too. Jay, Sean, you mentioned that – did you have one more? Yeah, I just wondered oh. specifically why – how are you better? Um, just – I mean, it was a brand-new team at the beginning of the year. Like, we – had to figure out, you know, that team chemistry, gel together, um, learn lessons. I mean, we had uh, older guys with a different staff mixed with, you know, young guys straight out of high school. So um, I just think it was one of those things that, you know, trial and error, like you're going to get you're going to get better, you know, being around uh, your team and practicing every day. And I think that, um, you know, we've done it from the from the beginning. Every week we've grown. And, you know, at this point right now, it's like clockwork. I mean, we're eager to practice today. We're eager to get ready for tomorrow's game. Jay Sean, you mentioned that you come to Ohio State for, for games like this. But since, obviously, you played number one Michigan State earlier. But this late in the season, I don't think you guys have had a game where, you know, so much was at stake. Mm -hmm. How do you balance appreciating the moment with also being a leader on this team and, and getting the team ready to, to play in such a big game? Um, I think they just – I mean, they just go hand in hand. I mean, like, no matter if it's one or, or, you know, it's a great thing to play against number one. But, I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't come out there and compete, um, you can be beat by anybody um, from the last place team to the first place team. Um, that's just, you know, a, a big reason why I decided to come here because I knew the competitive level um, was going to be tested every night. And when you watch this team on film, and especially for you, Jay Sean, having to play a little bit more of the point with, with Cam out, just what challenges do they present um, when on the defensive end for you guys that maybe you haven't seen this year? Um, definitely size. I mean, they got a lot of size down low. Um, they're a very um, smart team, um, veteran team, um, and uh, they, they, I like their team composure. Um, I don't think there's a lot of teams like that, um, the way they show, you know, how to together they are and you know we're gonna have to you know tomorrow we're gonna have to be smart about um, the, the shot selection we take and you know uh, driving in with such length in the post. I think probably both of you guys at some point will get some time trying to guard Haas. Um, just what, what's the challenge of trying to defend a guy who's that big? He's, he's unique, I think. Even I think he's like a – he'd be unique in the NBA, his size. So just what, what's the challenge of guarding him? Like you said, it's his size. He's 7, 2, or 3, and he's like 290, 300 pounds. So, I mean, it's going to be very hard to move him. So it's not going to be just on one of those. So it's like a team effort to, you know, prevent him from getting deep post position. And, and how do they play off of him? I mean, just to, to throw it into him and then have the shooters they have around him. Um, I, I, have you guys seen anything like this yet this year? I know he's physically unique, but even the way they play off of him, is that unique compared to what you guys have seen so far? Um, 
I got to think back. Um, I mean, definitely it's going to be unique because you, you don't see a guy that of that size. Um, but like Kata said, uh, um, they, they really, I mean, Purdue, since I've, I've always known, they've been a team who loves to throw it in the post. Like, that's their rule. They have to throw it in um, but, uh, every time down the course. So, um, it, like, like Kata said, it's not going to just be on, you know, whoever's guarding him. It's, it's going to be on, you know, the guard uh, making it difficult for uh, post entries to be put in there and, um, you know, dig and help off. Um, I think the obvious comparison to trying to upset a top-ranked team in the country is your guys' game with Michigan State. Can you look back at, at the build-up to that game and draw anything from your preparation? Obviously, different teams, you're going on the road, stuff like that, but just how you prepared to, to do what you guys were able to do. Do you draw anything from that for this week? Um, I would say it's been a while since we've been the underdog. Um, I think that's a good that's a good thing for us. I mean, I, I actually enjoy being an underdog. We've been there so long, so uh, kind of we kind of got used to it. So I think just um, looking back, I just think that we are motivated and excited for the opportunity. And I, like we'll see in practice today, but like I can always tell what type of game it's going to be from the way we practiced the day before. And I have no no doubt that today is going to be a great great day of prep. And not to look beyond this game, but Coach Holtman was talking about the, the stretch run you guys have at the end of the season, and, and that's going to be tough, but that's also something you guys as players are looking forward to. I'm just curious what you, you know, while preparing for Purdue, what you see from this kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, final stretch that can test you here at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a difficult stretch. You only got two more home games left. Um, we traveled a lot of these last few weeks, and it's some big games. We got at Michigan, and obviously at Purdue, we got two Penn State, right? At two Penn State, so I mean, it's going to be a tough stretch after this game. Is Greg Oden doing any scout team stuff? <laughs> and uh, in terms of, you know, he's he's the big guy. Have you had to move him around or tried to move him around? And how's Caleb doing with that? Oh, I mean, any, if you know Greg, I mean, it's kind of hard to. I mean, he's the number one pick. I mean, there's nothing else to say about that. But um, I think Caleb has done a great job of uh, just doing the best he can, you know, on him. Um, and it's going to prepare him the most. Um, like I said, we yesterday was more of a, you know, a scouting prep day. So we'll just see what happens in practice today. I know Coach Holt has some tricks up his sleeve. Is there any way you guys stop Odin? He's just on the... No, no. When, does he let you know about it, too? No, actually, he's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> we have honestly haven't made him mad, and we've only played against him nice, so I'm, I don't even want to see him when he's mad because, I mean, he's just... He's crazy. He's nuts. Okay, Sean, over this last... Or this conference stretch of games, you've kind of been starting at point guard and have you felt more comfortable in that role as the games have gone on? Um, well, against Illinois it was a little hard, just the way they play, but um, I would say, yeah, as the season has went on, I felt more comfortable. There was a stretch there where I had it, had to play it for a few games, so, you know, we, we our scout team did a great job of preparing me in practice for it. They, I mean, I think they made me turn it over like five times. Um, but I think that, um, you know, they, the, it, it goes to them, like the preparation they got me to do it um, and go on the court and be a little more comfortable. Do you find it's going to be a little different, especially with the size that Purdue brings, kind of going from running the offense and then having to guard a guy like uh, Edwards or uh, uh, Haas down low, kind of that transition? Um, I've always, uh, you know, been um, a little undersized in the guys on guard. I'm, I'm not even sure who our defensive schemes at this time, but, you know, all I can do is work as hard as I can, try to do my work early like I always have, and, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty confident that once I do that, uh, I can make it as hard as possible for them to score. A couple quick ones. Guys, obviously it hurts when you have any player suspended, but, I mean, at least to kind of get a game under your belt with Andre in that starting rotation and then to get a couple days' worth of practice here, I mean, does, does that? how much does that help, if at all, 
in the wake of a suspension? Yeah, it definitely helps because we just put a game under our belt now. We've got three or four or five practice days now without him. Um, so, I mean, Dre's been really good in his role so far. So, I don't think we're, really, we're really worried about it moving forward. And then how much, obviously, does that change your game plan for Purdue? Um, I would say that, um, you know, with Dre's size and his ability to guard um, different positions, it actually helps us on the defensive end. Uh, whereas, you know, we're going to have to um, pick and choose our spots on the offensive end uh, a little better. Um, just making sure that we get the right, correct shot with, you know, having, you know, I think we started me, Kata, and Dre last game. That's four, four, three, four forwards out there, so. When this season began, very few people, maybe you two, maybe you were the only two or not, thought, yeah. oh, Dockage, yeah, Dockage, thought, would not have thought that this game, so much would be on the line. When no one's looking, do you guys kind of look at each other like, what is going on here and how does this happen? I mean, does that happen? If you're being honest, and I know you guys are honest dudes. Yeah. I mean, when you look at everything everyone's said about us preseason, you look at us now, it's a complete turnaround. We're not sixth in the Big Ten or fifth in the Big Ten. We're fighting for a Big Ten championship now. So we're just living in the moment right now. We're just trying to do the best we can to keep it going. Yeah. Um, I would just say um, I definitely sometimes – um. I kind of look at it like, uh, wow, we're we're actually doing this. But like you said, we're just, you know, we can't we can't always think like that. We just got to keep moving forward and you know taking on the task in front of us. And you know, after it's all over, hopefully we can you know have a fair tale ending. So. Okay.